Let create a node grid flow which will generate a dynamic stock market simulator that generates real-time random demo stock prices for multiple companies every 5 seconds. Watch as the live data is beautifully displayed on an interactive chart and a historical table, offering an engaging and visually rich simulation of stock market fluctuations right in your browser. Step 1. Open Nodrid. Launch Nodrid from your browser by navigating to HTTP localhost 1880. Step 2. Create a new flow. In the top right corner, Click on the plus button to add a new flow. Name this flow Stock Market Simulator. Step 3. Add an inject node. From the left hand palette, drag and drop an inject node onto the workspace. Double click the inject node to configure it. Set the name to Inject Random Price. Set the repeat interval to every 5 seconds by entering 5 in the repeat field. Click Done. Step 4. Add a function node to generate stock prices. From the palette, drag and drop a function node onto the workspace. Double click the function node to configure it. Set the name to Generate Stock Prices. This function in Nodred initializes and updates simulated stock prices for three companies, ABC, Definite, and GHI. Here's a breakdown of what it does. Initialization, it defines an array of stock objects, stocks, with symbols, names, and initial prices fetched from context variables, price underscore ABC, price underscore definite, price underscore GHI. If these prices are not set, it defaults them to 100. Price update, for each stock. It generates a random price change, price change between minus 5 to plus 5. Updates the stock's price accordingly and ensures it is formatted to two decimal places. Stores the updated price back into Nodrid's context, context.set. Message creation. For each stock, it creates a message object containing. Topic. Symbol of the stock. Payload. Object with stock name, stock, updated price, price, and current time, time, formatted using Tolakali timer string. Return, it returns an array, messages, containing all the generated messages, each representing the updated information for one stock. This function simulates real-time stock price changes and prepares structured data for further processing and visualization within Nodrid, such as updating charts and historical tables. Now click on Done. Step 5. Connect Inject Node to Function Node. Drag a wire from the output port of the Inject Node to the input port of the Function Node. Step 6. Add a Change Node to format data for chart. From the palette, drag and drop a Change Node onto the workspace. Double click the Change Node to configure it. Set the name to Format for Chart. Add a rule to set msg.pa load to dollar number, payload.price using JSONATA. Click Done. Step 7. Add a UI chart node to display stock prices. From the palette, drag and drop a UI underscore chart node onto the workspace. Double click the UI underscore chart node to configure it. Set the name to Stock Price Chart. Select the group Stocks. If it's not created yet, create a new group in the tab Stock Market Simulator. Configure the chart type as Line Chart. Set the label to Stock Price. Enable the legend and set the x-axis format to HHMM.
Click on Done. Step 8. Connect Function Node to Change Node and UI Chart Node. Drag a wire from the output port of the function node to the input port of the change node. Drag a wire from the output port of the change node to the input port of the UI underscore chart node. Step 9. Add a function node to prepare table data. From the palette, drag and drop another function node onto the workspace. Double-click the function node to configure it. Set the name to prepare table data. This node read function code manages a historical record history of stock price data. Initialization, it retrieves the current history array from node read flow context flow.get. If history doesn't exist yet, it initializes it as an empty array. Appending data, it adds the incoming msg.pa load which typically contains stock price information to the history array using history.push msg.pa load. Maintaining size, it checks if the history array exceeds 100 entries, history.length 100. If it does, it removes the oldest entry from the front of the array using history.shift to ensure the array size remains manageable. Saving to context, it updates the history array in node read flow context, flow.set, history, history, ensuring that the updated historical data is stored persistently. Return, it returns an object, payload, history, which contains the updated history array. This updated array can be used further downstream in the flow for display or additional processing, such as rendering historical tables or exporting data. In summary, this code effectively maintains a rolling history of stock price data, ensuring that only the latest 100 entries are kept at any given time within the node read flow context. Click on Done. Step 11. Connect Function Node to UI Table Node. Drag a wire from the output port of the function node to the input port of the UI underscore table node. Step 12. Deploy the flow. Click the Deploy button in the top right corner to deploy the flow. Step 13. Let's demonstrate the flow now. Open the Node-RED dashboard by navigating to HTTP localhost 1880 UI. Observe the stock price chart and the table updating every 5 seconds with random stock prices.